heart rate burnout. Uh, how do you separate the two? You know, like I know when you're going up a hill, you may not your, your heart may not be pumping that hard. You're like, I just need my legs to perform right now. And then right. other times you're like, okay, these guys are going around so fast, I have to just do so, there's a different level of right. what you need. So right. how do you train for the two separate? Or uh, do you treat them separate? You know. Yeah, I mean, uh, how best to answer this? Um, yeah, so I mean, there is a difference. Obviously, like somebody who's you know just cardiovascularly trained. You know, if you take like somebody who's just starting and try and you know have them ride with somebody who's advanced, just you know your cardiovascular training is different level. Right. Um, and then obviously, like you get uh, just because you're not to that cardiovascular level, you'll get, you know, the pain in your legs quicker just because if you've got, I don't want to get too complicated, but like lactic acid buildup, right. so that'll happen quicker if you're not right. quite, um, you know, trained to that level, so right. you're going to feel that kind of pain if your body's not um, flushing. And so what do you sort of um, focus on making sure you keep on point, you know, what is it that you're like, man, I cannot let this happen, what is that for you personally? Um, for me... Did yeah, you ever have to push past the lactic acid? Oh yeah, you always are. Yeah, yeah. And in the hard, yeah, in the big races, it's you're always pushing yourself. So, and at that point, it's a lot of it's mental too. Just being able to just like management. keep yourself breathing, yeah, focused, and just pushing through the pain because uh, you know it's like that's what we train for. But um, it's so easy to let your head get to you. But yeah, personally, I mean my. Weakness is probably doing, yeah, like the time trial like efforts, and so um, I'll practice doing, yeah, like 20, 20 minute efforts almost as hard as I can. I mean, not obviously like full out sprinting, but right. um, but then you, yeah, you have to kind of find a balance between doing stuff like that and working on your sprinting and then just kind of uh, endurance as well. So it's all balance for at, sure. At the gym, do you ride the bike at all? Uh, not unless I have to. I actually run a little bit on the treadmill, like, to warm up, just to do something different, and then sometimes I'll spin afterwards, but, uh... In a class or on your own? No, yeah, on my own. I actually used to take spin classes. I used to be a spin instructor back then. That's cool, me too. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know, I, I get so claustrophobic on the bike With indoors. Everyone, there's a lot of yeah. people in those spin classes. They yeah. get really yeah, they close. Can be, I, ri I ride those spin bikes when I go to the gym because I don't get to ride as much. Yeah. So when I go, I use like an hour on that and I I do different things and sometimes I'll turn it way up so that I'm literally standing yeah. up. Like, ah, ah, and then, you know, I'll try to do that for like a few minutes at a time and I go back and forth on that. So, yeah. you know, do you do any of those things, or you just have to, are, is yours all about riding on the bike? Um, I not on the stationary bike as much, but you, you can get a great workout. Uh, definitely doing like interval training and stuff right. on a stationary bike. Um, if I do that, I'll set up my bike at home, like on a stationary trainer or on the these, or yeah. on the rollers. Yeah, that's what yeah. I want one of these. This so, is what I which really is really right convenient, here. especially if it's you know the weather's bad. Right, um, and that's why I'm not riding as much. Aside from being busy, the weather's just cold. Yeah. And I don't want to... But I mean, I, 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 if I don't have anywhere to go, then I'm not going to ride. Like, even if it's warm, I don't just ride for the sake of riding. I need a destination right. so I can set my pace for route there. Right. So, um, for me, I'd have much more... I'd ride like every night if I had one of these right. because it's like okay, you cool. Say that I'm gonna first. I know, I know. I'm actually <laughs> and be like, like oh, it, it, don't it, it become me. a shoe rack in a second or something. <laughs> but to at least have, like, especially these colder evenings, yeah, you know, or even just as I'm about to begin riding, I notice that a lot of riders warm up. And actually, yeah. that, make that my next question: mm -hmm. Do you actually do any trainer warm ups before you race? Like, I do. I yeah. saw you guys the other day. You and um, you were. Yes, you guys were you guys were going franchise, over. Franchise, franchise. She's a franchise, Julia. Uh, yeah. uh, you guys were on the trainer, and you'd like, how long do you go on that before your actual race? Um, you know, it depends. Usually about a half an hour. I like really. I like a long warm. Personally, wow. I like a long warm up. I thought so it would be like 10, 15 minutes. I warm up for an hour um, oh, wow. if I really got around to giving myself that much time. Um, so what, the longer you go for, the warmer you get, the more it's yeah, you for me, your body I get. feel like I just take a while to warm up. Some people, you know, yeah, 30 minutes or less, they're good to go. Uh, I personally find that I do better after, like, a longer warm-up. Um, 
So it just depends on the race, but for higher intensity races, like short, like a cross race or like a crit or a time trial, um, usually it's better to have a, a pretty solid warm up just because the race itself is so short and it's so at high intensity from the beginning that you want to be ready. In the, in the right. midst of it already. Yeah, you want to yeah. be ready, your body, want to have your body, you know, ready to ride at that high of a level, oh, yeah. high of an intensity, so. You, yeah, you have fans who want to ride with you. Yay! Oh, yeah? Uh, D- Dustin wants to know when and where she rides so he can meet. Dusty? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right, hi. Uh, theories. Uh, what, kind of, what kind of spin instructor were you? Were you a, like a drill sergeant spin instructor, or were you a ride leader? More of a ride leader, yeah. Uh, I like to encourage people and, and have fun. I'm not one of those. Positivity. Like, Come on, guys. Yeah. yeah. I have to go. <laughs> Singing. And, uh, I'm not, not like jazzercise style. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> did, did you give them the route that they were going so they could visualize it, or did you just try to keep them calm and out of their headspace? Yeah, mostly. I Not so much route, but just thinking about doing different drills or kind of keeping along with like a rhythm and stuff so right so that they have something to pull and focus heavy yeah. motivated heavy like, but actually I had taken classes before where people would like try to have you envision being on the road that was my style I, I felt like for me it worked the best because it got me out of my head of whatever I was thinking and it made me like go, oh yeah La Cienega and or La Cienega um, yeah. and Santa Monica yeah. I know where that is I know what I know what level of intensity yeah. I have to pick up to now. Yeah. Let's That's turn it on. Good idea. Uh, yeah, I've never done a spin really class. Idea. I've been. Uh, I'm not fun. a good follower, but I like. I like to. I, I think too much. I just yeah. like to get into the music. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just want to ride, but I, 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 I want yeah. to do a spin class. I feel yeah. like I can take my train to the next level if I did. If you have a really awesome, like I had one awesome spin instructor, Colin Kim, and this. Boy, oh my gosh, he just knew how to get everybody into <laughs> it. Room, man. Yeah, like yeah. his music, his like in the room, you felt everyone's consciousness being awakened, and just we yeah. were like, we were on a whole nother level. That Thank helps so because I used to take spin classes and just be like, oh my gosh, is this hour gonna end? Right? <laughs> Look at the clock. He's yeah. Five seconds later, Every five, five minutes. seconds have gone by. Are you kidding me? Ooh, we're blown up. <laughs> blown up. It's popular. <laughs> So wait, we, we got off the topic when I asked you about spin instructor. Yeah. Right. Do you competitively, do you, are you competitive at other sports? Do you find yourself getting on a basketball court and being like, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> like, or are you just competitive in not, cycling? Yeah, not, I, I have an issue with like team sports. Like we played flag football the other weekend for Thanksgiving and. Who do we, your team? Uh, my oh, roommates and I, friends. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I suck. So, okay. Uh, um, yeah, I grew up as a dancer. I danced for 15 years. I was a competitive dancer. Very um, cool. So, like what kind? Tap, um, yeah, jazz, character, modern, a little bit of tap, a little bit of ballet, everything. Yeah, jazz, lots of jazz accounts. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to dance team right now? Okay. Right. <laughs> um, I was a dancer. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Before I was an athlete. Maybe if, uh, Got like we dance, <laughs> a couple drinks, right? I'm good, but. Hey, but you, Do you know, like to play that? Yes. Can I? We dance. It's all so much fun. Yeah, yeah. That's great off season. Yeah. Training, by the Training. way. Yeah. Keeps you warm. Limber. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was gonna ask you um about uh to go to go back to really quickly just uh, about the trainer. Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, do you mind saying how old you are? No, um, 25. Okay, so Happy uh, how long? <laughs> when did you find that you that, that riding a trainer before riding a race gave you an advantage? Was it like at 21? Was um, it like 18? Was it always something you've done or was it something you did? As yeah, you, got, you know, when I raced downhill, I never warmed up, which probably would have been helpful actually because a lot of times I'd see the pros out there warming up before their downhill races. Um, as I started getting on the road bike, so I don't know, around 21 maybe. But it I, wasn't a matter of you getting older, it was just a matter of this is what it takes. Yeah, it's just kind of like what, you, just kind of how right. part of the routine. Right, right, right. Um, and a lot of times earlier in my racing days, uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't so finicky about if I got a warm up on my trainer or not. Um, but in the last two years or so, it's definitely become um, more important just so that I can stay focused and make sure I get the appropriate warm-up because 
it's hard because a lot of times if you just try and ride around, there's so many other factors like stoplights and mm -hmm. this and that that you might not get, you know, the right warm up. And then if you or go into in the, the right race mindset. unprepared, yeah, you're, you're mentally, you, you know, you're thinking like, oh, great, I don't have, I'm not warmed up enough. Or I really so. have to get a trainer now. Like, yeah, like I've, 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 I've been, I've been seeing so many riders doing it before the races, and I. I, I just assumed it was a matter of, you know, older people trying to keep up with the younger people. But um, to hear you being 25 is actually really good. And to hear you started at 21, it's like, okay, that's really good. And I've seen, like, Kit Carson out there who's 20. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah. I've seen younger, but, I, but because he's a pro, I'm like, okay, what else yeah. the pros do? Yeah. But to hear that you're like, no, it's just good for yeah, me. It's it makes me like okay, I mean everybody's I got their own kind of thing but uh, I mean yeah no matter your age or your skill level I think it's it's it can be really helpful to have a, a stationary more no that, that, that's I'm, I'm sold how often do you ride yours my trainer um, only when I have to uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, only yeah, before for, races, huh? warm, for warming up um, or yeah if I have to do an indoor workout because of like the rain right, um, right, the right. weather um, but I also like to ride the rollers too so, oh, which, which one colors. do you prefer? Um, and what's the difference? So the trainer, the you're actually your back wheel is you know right like locked into the trainer, so um, and like, then you've got this. Sorry, we're just pointing up the ground. Yeah. Um, and then you know your your back wheel has pressure on here, so it's providing resistance. Right. Um, rollers, I don't know. I guess you don't have them available, here, but, but um, it's. Also takes balance, so you've just got um, right. like these two rollers that. But can you apply resistance can on those rollers? Um, some some you can buy rollers that have like a resistance option. Okay. Um, but really, yeah, it's otherwise it's just your back wheel free wheel. So, but with what, your ears. why would I do one versus the other? Um, depending on the kind of workout you want to get. Uh, trainers are a lot better, for, kind of for interval training. Um, 